Now turning to Zimbabwe, a team of U.S. congressmen has met with top political leaders in the country to assess the progress of the country's year-old unity government. Democratic Congressman Melvin Watt says lifting sanctions, which include the Zimbabwe Democracy and Economic Recovery Act, or ZIDERA, would not happen quickly, but he cites some progress that the unity government has made in finding common ground. But many analysts say one year into the power-sharing agreement, the coalition government is showing signs of strain. The merger of political rivals, ZANU-PF, and the two formations of the Movement for Democratic Change has not been easy. Each accuses the other of reneging on commitments outlined in their Global Political Agreement, or GPA. Specifically, the MDC's call for ZANU-PF to remove the current Reserve Bank Governor and Attorney General, and ZANU-PF's demand for MDC to push for the lifting of targeted sanctions on President Robert Mugabe and his close allies. Despite the deadlock, Prime Minister Morgan Trangirai remains hopeful. Certainly this government is not fragile because the leadership is determined to push through with the process. Uh, what is only a problem are these uh, uh, sometimes eruptions of differences. Convincing Western countries of progress has been challenging as many remain skeptical of Mr. Mugabe, citing lack of progress in the GPA. The European Union this week extended targeted sanctions on Mr. Mugabe and some 200 of his allies for another year, but did drop off some names from the list. Mr. Mugabe and his party say that the sanctions are illegal and must be removed, but their ongoing invasions of white-owned farms and arrests of opposition politicians, activists and journalists. We could have done certain things much better. We could have stopped these incidents of sometimes orchestrated violence uh, on the farms, disruptions. Uh, we could have um, opened up the media by now, uh, delayed, but it is going to happen. Political commentator John Makumbe says that despite the presence of a coalition government, ZANU-PF is still running the country. Uh, Robert Mugabe has remained largely in charge. He is exercising executive power. Um, Morgan Changrai as Prime Minister is, uh, has very little power. He can do uh, very little by way of uh, exercising executive powers of governance. Changes can be seen in Zimbabwe following the formation of the new government. On the economic front, it seems there is a, a great improvement. But on the political, the political front, uh, we can say there is uh, still a lot to be done. Food scarcity is less of an issue now, but citizens remain anxious. You only promise, but you don't act. Then a promise which has no results is just like nothing. The leaders should be serious and consider the majority of us because the industries are still low and the cash is not actually flowing. The political parties continue to engage the Southern African development community to resolve the deadlock. Their global political agreement does not give a time frame by which the parties must dissolve the transitional government. However, SADC is pressuring both parties to hold elections in 2011 following the full implementation of the GPA and a new people-driven constitution.